Hey folks, I'm David from Default Sound, and what you just heard was a demo of my main stage patch for Oh Come to the Altar by Elevation Worship. This patch uses only main stage stock plugins. There's no third party or external plugins required. And the patch has been pre-tuned for the original key and tempo of the song. But if you need to adjust the key or the tempo of the song, you can do that to suit the way that your team plays it. This patch has also been pre-mapped to our Sunday Keys main stage template, which is our main stage template uh, designed for modern worship music. So if you have Sunday Keys, you can just drag and drop this patch into the concert and it'll be pre-mapped to the extra slot. You can also open this patch in any other main stage three concert. Now what I'd like to do is go through the patch section by section to show you how the layers are split and to teach you how to play the song just like that. Let's take a look. This song is in the key of B, so this patch is tuned to the key of B. Uh, and it starts off with just this piano that's spread across the entire keyboard for this patch. That's the little intro. And then for the verse, it's just chords. like to you can mirror that melody line a little bit if it doesn't get in the way of what the rest of your team is doing so what the left hand has is a, is a chord trigger octave setup on the bass notes so it's playing a, a, an octave up and the original note which you play. And you'll see why that is in a minute. Uh, you wanna make sure your mod wheel's all the way down so that none of the additional layers come in. And then you're just playing chords for that melody line in your right hand. Now when you finish that first uh, verse, you just wanna end uh, fade up that mod wheel while you're sustaining this low E. And that brings in three layers. It brings in a cello, it brings in a synth stab, and it brings in the pad that plays during the chorus. Um, and it also fades in this little uh, kind of uh, envelope synth in the right hand. That's kind of the little synth lead part. So the chorus altogether sounds like this. So your left hand's just playing the bass notes. And then your right hand is just playing this little motif that kind of appears every chorus. like to you can uh, add an octave up in your right hand if you want to make it a little bit uh, more noticeable more prominent that little uh, 
envelope synth is just in this range right here around middle C so that it doesn't get in the way or become too much when you go up in your right hand. Um, then verse two, you want to play the exact same way that you did verse one, maybe just fill a little bit more in your right hand, but you want to move your bass notes up an octave if you would like to have this little fake mandolin sound. So you can bring that mandolin if you want, or if you don't want that, then you can either delete that channel strip uh, or just not play that section. Just play it down here. It's the same exact piano sound. It just has that mandolin layered on top. Uh, whichever you decide, make sure for the last note of verse two that you again hit this low E. So if you're playing the mandolin part, you would just double up on that octave like this. Just so that you can fade that pad in. If you want the mandolin to continue into the chorus, then just double up these octaves for everything on that second chorus. mandolin then just drop that octave and just play single bass notes uh, and then when you get down to the bridge you just want to drop everything down a little bit about halfway on your mod wheel and that will take the envelope synth completely out and the stab synth completely out but it will leave some of the padding and a little bit of the cello so this allows you to play uh, with a little bit of texture just with your mod wheel about 50% so you can go so that would be the bridge start to build that up do a little bit of comping in there on the chords but your bass notes you just want to keep single bass notes and it's going to give you that pad you can start to fade the mod wheel up as you build it a little bit just keep in mind the last 20 or 25 percent are going to start to bring in the stab synth in your left hand and the envelope synth in your right so you want to kind of save that for the chorus so you can write it up a little bit all the way for the chorus. That's all there is to this song. Thanks for checking out this video, and I hope that you'll make this patch a part of your sound library. Have a great day.